In this tutorial, we'll show you around the Snagit editor and give you a feel for some of the things you can do with it. Once you've taken your captures, you can use the Snagit editor to enhance your image captures with arrows, text, and effects. There are a few different ways to access the editor. By default, your images open the editor after you've taken a capture. You can change this by deselecting the preview and editor icon near the bottom of the Snagit capture window here. You can open the editor whenever you'd like by clicking here in the capture window. Now that the editor is open, let's take a look around. The canvas is where you edit and add effects to your image or text captures. The draw tab contains various drawing, annotation, and callout tools. Once you select the tool, the preset styles appear. If you don't find something that fits your needs, you can create your own style using the outline, fill, and effects dropdowns on the right. You can even save it for later and we'll show you how to do this next. Each tool has a different set of properties you can change. For example, you can change the color and line width of this square. When you have it just the way you want, click the More button in the Styles box and select Add to Quick Styles. It will now be there anytime you need it. In the Image tab, not only will you find quick ways to crop, rotate, and resize your image, you will also find edges, borders, and color filter effects. On the left, you'll find image tools like cropping. To crop your image, click and drag your cursor on the image to select an area and click Crop. The image style box in the middle displays edge effects. And again, you can alter them to create your own. Use the drop down and click Add to Quick Styles to save. At the bottom of the editor, you'll find the Open Capture tray, where you'll find recently captured and opened images, videos, and text captures. You can use the Open Capture Tray controls to navigate through the images in the tray. In the lower right corner, you'll find a tool for zooming as well as a file folder icon. The file icon is your capture library and holds all your past captures so they are easily organized and accessible. To zoom in on the image, click here and use the slider to adjust the zoom to the size you want. Dimensions of the image are displayed here. Once you have your image the way you want it, you have many choices for sharing. Click the Share tab, then click on the output you want to use. Snagit includes some for you, but you can add more like Facebook, Twitter, and OneNote. To add outputs, click on the More Accessories icon to download them from the TechSmith website. There are three tabs we haven't looked at yet. The Hotspots tab allows you to create clickable areas on your image. These areas can interact with URLs, making your capture an interactive experience. The Tags tab allows you to group captures into categories so they are easier to locate in the Capture Library folder. Finally, the View tab gives you a variety of ways to view your current and past captures. If you want to use tools or effects with your Snagit videos, you can share them to Camtasia Studio for advanced editing options. Now that you've seen what the editor holds, go out there and explore the tools on your own. To learn more details on specific areas within the editor, visit some of our other tutorials. Come tell us what you think about the editor, how it works, or how you're using it at feedback.techsmith.com.